Alrighty, and we're back with more K1 World Grand Prix 2018 Japan action. We've got the K1 Super Lightweight World Championship Tournament. The Saitama Super Arena Community Arena configuration. 7,000 fans in attendance here for our next bout. We've got a K1 Featherweight non-title match here. Murakoshi Yuta taking on Alex Rivas in the blue corner. Ready for this action here. I'm Brian. I'm Phil. Let's get this started. Looks like we've got our orthodox southpaw matchup going on here. Yeah. We're going to see some big rear leg kicks thrown, I would imagine. Alex Rivas, quite the young guy here, only 17 years old. Good record though, 17 wins, eight by way of KO, only two defeats. Let's see how he matches up against the champ. Ooh, exactly right. Whoa. Whoa. Surprise there for uh, yeah. six, Munokoshi. Seven, You're exactly right. Eight. Munokoshi is the current uh, featherweight champion here in this non title bout. And early, early yeah. down here. He landed the knee, but yeah, Rivas just kept on punching and got the down. Tough way to start the fight, too. It would be a real test of uh, Munokoshi's composure to yeah. see if he can come back from that early down. Doesn't seem to be any damage lingering, just the mental, yeah. the mental block that creates. Yeah. Ooh, nice front kick. Minokoshi's mm. got, got great work with the legs, the knees underneath the punches, front kicks, middle kicks. Ooh, Ooh snappy yeah. inside low there. A little bit high though yeah. for a low kick. Yuta, uh, Murakoshi, Murakoshi really wants to, to pay, pay him back with a down of his own, but Rivas is, uh, you know. Ooh, ooh, wow. Murakoshi's stalking from the center of the ring, yeah. but um, not that he's really pressuring Rivas much. Yeah, Rivas is going back Oh my here. gosh, man. Rivas has some great combos. Sharp, yeah. Sharp and explosive, real snap on his strikes. Good loose footwork, too. Ooh. Yeah, those, those punches, just right right after uh, Murakoshi does something, mm. are really dangerous. Real and Murakoshi, a real astute counterfighter, but Riva's not giving him the opportunity to be the counterfighter yeah. here. Yeah, there the man on the blue corner is working the counter. Yeah. Especially with that first first down. Yeah. You know, uh, Murakoshi has to be the more aggressive fighter. Mm. Yep, exactly. He forced his hand a bit. Puts Murakoshi in that uncomfortable position. Oh, yep, right on the chin. Sharp shot there. Sharp, tight little shot, too. Good inside boxing. Yeah. Really tight. You see, lots of times, uh, a lot of fighters throw these huge hooks mm. and end up hitting them with, with their with their whole arm or bicep mm. or hugging their head. But he really kept it tucked in, and it pays off. Yeah, still got great twist through the hip, mm -hmm. kick off the ground. Um, but yeah, kept it tight. Yeah. Damn, all that force. That small move. It's gonna it's gonna put you to the floor. Yeah. And it's hard to do because, you know, you have to be really conscious of your actions there. Mm -hmm. so you do, you do kind of want to throw out these big swoop, swooping punches. But That's right. That's right. You got to be aware and strategic. And great composure from the from the young fighter in the blue corner. Oof. Yep. And like you said, countering with those those hands right off the kick. 
Walking with the hands and coming back with the hands. Alex Reeve is just de delivering everything in a bit tighter package. Yeah. Maybe coach a little looser, a little wider. Opening himself. Some of those inside shots. Nice head move work there. Yeah. Yeah, those big body kicks could be a way in. Yeah, it could be a way in for Murakoshi, but Alex Rifa has just stepped off center. And yep. He's just not letting Murakoshi find his timing or his distance or play the game that he wants to. Measuring, Oof. balanced. Really good exchanges. They just kind of canceling each other out. Yeah. Really There's good. a good, good mid kick there from Murakoshi. Oh, I see. So, some, it's just so, so natural, I guess, for some yeah. fighters to scoop up that kick. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. Oh, yeah, yeah. And back to that clinch again. Needs to, uh, Time to get a little. Need to get a serious warning here. Or penalty. Let's see what they, what they do. No more clinching in the K1 ring, young sir. Let's see what happens. Ooh. Ooh. Mirakoshi looking a bit flustered. Kind yeah. Of swinging for the back fist there. Yeah. Good back kick. Good back, uh, back leg kick. Mm. But uh, yeah, he's, he, he wants that knockdown because he knows he's not going to win if he doesn't get that knockdown. And yeah, he, another inside inside shot there. That kind of rocked his world. Yeah. The mid kick is a great weapon yeah. for him, however. Yeah. He's doing great work with that. He needs to capitalize on that. Maybe fake oh, the kick yeah. into a left straight. Or bring the kick high over the top. And that's his move. He shouldn't he shouldn't do go with the hands. He needs to be careful yeah. stepping into the punch range, yeah, because he's getting caught with Woo! this tight inside right hand from Rivas. Yeah. yeah, so he needs to just keep on doing those kicks because yeah, it was a good kill. Yeah. I don't know if it, it's not what he wants to do or he doesn't notice. But he's, he really wants that K. He really, really wants that knockdown, I think. So. Ooh, ooh, nice ooh, knee. Ooh. Keeping the pressure on, controlling the center. Better round there for Murakoshi. Yeah. Establishing the left kick, but still tight. You know, the, the cleanest hit, probably from Rivas there, that inside. Yeah. Short little right hand. Okay. Hold on. It's avoided Murakoshi a low blow there. better moments, though, for sure yeah. there. Ooh, there you go. Ooh, that's, that's a good body. Good then that body, counter. Yeah. Body for a hand, for a right hand. Take your pick. Yeah, that first strong knockdown, I think, really really got to uh, mm -hmm. his game plan. Oh, yeah. I don't think he was planning on probably going this hard, right, for this, mm -hmm. for this win. I wanted to play the counter work a little bit yeah. more, but he got forced into uh, engaging. We'll see I, in the third round here, if he sticks with that left kick, he's, do, he's doing good work with it in the second round yeah. there. See if he can develop that a little bit more and make something else happen. Here we go, third and final round for these two. Once again, Murakoshi controlling the center of the ring well, hunting him down. Leave this room light with the foot, with the footwork and fast with the hands. Oof. Fast with the kick as well. Really tight guard by Alex Rivas. Everything's in a tight package with, with him. Oof. Ooh, stepping in. Forcing Murakoshi back onto his heels. There's a good hook. 
Ooh, nice knee. Nice knee. Yep. Get Getting his hands up. Nice job. Good knee. distance. Scott, Scott Rivas thinking about things here a little bit more. Yeah. Delaying, delaying the counters a bit. Ooh, nice low. Nice, oh, oh, that was his Ooh, chance. Finding his rhythm here a yeah. little bit more. Yeah, good with the knee. And then kind of st stifling him. Yeah. They're not letting him throw the punches. If he, keeps it if he keeps this up, he might be able to have this go to, to an extra round. Oof. He's definitely ahead this round. But a lot can happen in a minute and 15 seconds. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you gotta remember, we have that down from the first round as well. Yeah. Now, Coach, though, finding his rhythm now. Doing good work with the knee. Oh, it was smart to chop out the base leg. Yeah, that was kick. Yeah. Looks really great technique. Yeah, yeah, really good technique. Just uh, 17 years old. Coming up in the final 40 seconds here. The coach is slowing down a little bit. If anything, he needs to pick up the pace more. Yeah, pick, yeah and finish, finish his round that up. knee yeah. into the belly of Rivas. Rivas gave him his own knee. Rivas is playing really smart. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Nice. This is exactly. Oh, and he rocks him there with the hook. Yeah, this is exactly what he needed. Is it enough? Is it enough? Yeah, this is, ooh. They're both letting him go. Ooh, he was sneaking out of the corner, but getting driven into the next one. The champ is in the champ's red corner. Yeah. This is the gamble session right here. Wow. Wow. The finish. No Excellent down. exchange. No down. But I think that might be enough for the judges to call it a draw. What do you think? Well, let's see. I, man, that, if he could have snuck the down there, definitely, definitely yeah. would be going the way of Rikoshi. But I ooh, want to see here. Great work with the knee. He, he started with the left middle kick more in the second round, developed it into a knee strike with pressure to stop the hands. Well, he was made it tough the whole time. Yeah. That is a tight guard. He always yeah. puts on these real technical fights and brings out the best in his opponents. That was a great yeah. match. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, Phil. Let's see what the judges have to say here. Judge Yamane, 29-28-Aorivas. Oh. Yep, that down in the first Ooh. round did it. He was able to hold on just enough. <laughs> Tough break for Muto Koshi there. Even though it's a non-title fight as the champion. It doesn't look too great. Uh, really hard, um, hard spot to be in. Big, big win here for Alex Remus. Hanging on till the bitter end. Yeah, X. Excellent performance. Ooh. That was it right there. That yeah. <laughs> changed, the, changed the whole strategy, I think. Munakoshi doing yeah. a great job as the fight progressed, adapting and mm -hmm. finding his rhythm, but just not enough. Big win there for the yeah. young fighter from Spain. Really like his style. Mm. Yeah. I agree. Take. Go for you! <laughs> <laughs> he wants to go for Take. Well, they have K1 World Grand Prix 2018 in Japan. K1 Super Lightweight World Tournament. See you next time.